tonight in New York City, once again in Madison Square Garden, the mecca of boxing, the prodigal son, the people's champ, Triple G, Gennady Golovkin, returned to face off against Rawls in what is to be a stepping stone to a trilogy against Canelo Alvarez. Would Triple G's vision be fulfilled last night? Find out right here, right now, as you've entered the Sports Opinion Log in Lex Anderson World. I'm your host, Lex Anderson. If you like boxing, all things Madison Square Garden, all things sports, do the right thing on this pause to subscribe to his channel. Press the bell icon to your right to stay notified for any and all upcoming future videos. Thank you, boxing fans, nation and worldwide, for tuning in. First class all the way because you guys deserve nothing but the best. We, the people, deserve nothing but the best. And the people's champion, after his nine-month layoff, in a controversial majority decision loss against Canelo Alvarez that cost him his title, he returned Triple G in his first non-title fight since 2010. His layoff has been nine months. His HBO contract has expired. Daisy, Dazny swiped him up. Nine-figure deal, three years, Six fights, and we got one of them already. And it ended with a vicious left hook to the face of Rawls that sent him face first to the canvas. Triple G is back, and he wants what has been taken from him, rightfully so. He wants his championship belts back. And you know what, folks? Like I've said before in previous videos, this is the issue I have with boxing. They hype up the big fight and the big draw, and they rip us off, just like the first time they fought in 2017, and it was declared a draw. As the masses in all of America scream, Triple G won that fight. Canelo got his ass beat. And then they give us part two. Majority decision. Canelo Alvarez wins, and as a result of that loss to Triple G, he had lost his unified middleweight title. His division record time, 20 consecutive defensive, gone. <laughs> Just like that, because of the judges. So now we have to ask ourselves, where do we go from here? And the answer is the trilogy, once and for all. It has to be settled, but it has to be settled the right way. Someone has to put someone down on the mat just the way last night as Triple G connects with Rawls' face and sends him face first on the canvas. And the referee's asking him, can you continue, son? Can you get up? Eight, nine, and Rawls, his eyes rolling in the back of his head, leans into the ropes, and the referee waves it off. The fight is over. But is the fight over? No, folks. The fight has just begun. Because Triple G has to come back and rise to prominence. Rise to take back what is rightfully so. However, as a result of that fight, he now improves to 39-1-1 and with 35 KOs. Rolls, on the other hand, 19-1 and with 10 KOs. Okay. There you have it. Uh, where, where do we go from here? Okay, so hopefully we'll get something for the fall. Will they work on the deal? Of course they'll work on the deal. Dazin, the new network that signed Triple G to one of the biggest, most lucrative sports contracts in North American sports, this is what it's about. HBO, they're out in the loop. They're on the outside looking in. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? is that on the horizon, preferably this year, in the latter part of this year, hopefully the American public will get what they rightfully deserve. And that will be the trilogy. Three times a charm, they say, right? It's either sometimes three strikes and you're out, 
what a third time's a charm. Will we be charmed with what we need to see? The masses can't wait to spend their money. They've already been ripped off twice. Can they possibly be ripped off a third time? According to Lex Anderson, in high, in the, there's a likely probability that they will. Unless someone KO somebody or TKO somebody, you don't want Triple G and Canelo to go to the judges. You don't. Let's be real. You don't. And that's always my fear when watching boxing, when tuning into big fights. Oh, Lord, don't let the judges get a hold of it because they'll find a way to mess it up. But no, this time, I've got the names right. I've got the stats right. I've got the fight fans behind me. You made my first pro boxing debut video a hit. Top 10 on YouTube. Let us continue the march for redemption. Let us continue the march for glorification. Let us continue the march to what is rightfully ours. And that's seeing Triple G put Canelo down on the mat once and for all and taking all of his titles and most importantly, his unified middleweight title. America, let me know what you think. Drop a comment below. Make sure to like this video. And most and more importantly, subscribe to this channel. Press the bell icon to your right to stay notified for any and all upcoming future videos. Because if you don't, then I will have no choice but to take my show on the road to Instagram TV. And you can also follow me on IGTV for exclusive sports content. This is your boy, Lex Anderson, boxing fans, nation and worldwide. Thank you very much. I'm going to start working on my left hook and my right uppercut. But as for now, I'll just have to be content with signing out.